What's going on guys? So in this video, I want to talk about my Nintendo E3 predictions for this year. Uh, right off the bat, I think it's going to be another direct, probably around 45 minutes. And clearly they're going to finish off talking about the 3DS, we're nearing the end of that system's life cycle. The Switch is pretty much taking over as the new handheld. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't really care much about the 3DS, I'll have some things there. The main focus will be on the Switch. And I expect to have a lot of information, not just release dates, but a lot of information and more gameplay. Uh, I, I mean, the Splatoon 2 demo, it, we've seen stuff about that, so we don't really need a lot of gameplay about that, just more info on a release date. But Splatoon 2, I expect a big blowout of Mario Odyssey, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well. Now, as far as things that I'm really hopeful for, that, that's stuff that's, you know, reasonable. Stuff that I'm really hopeful for that is also reasonable, I would love to see more Pikmin. You know, we haven't heard about Pikmin in years, so I'd love to see more about Pikmin. Um, you know, it, obviously we're going to get info about Super Smash Brothers over the next couple of years. I, it's never too early to talk about that. I'd like to see what they're thinking about there. And, you know, it, people talk about Metroid or Donkey Kong or whatever. Personally, I've never been huge into Metroid, though clearly a lot of people would be happy about uh, another Metroid. I want to see another Donkey Kong, but not a 2D Donkey Kong. I want to see a full 3D Donkey Kong, a 3D platformer. I would be all over that. I mean, I would be ridiculously excited. Uh, Kirby, we might see something about in, in you know the near future. We haven't had a Kirby game in, like I think, 2010 was the last time when Kirby's Epic Yarn came out. Um, so Kirby would be a nice addition as well, and obviously GameCube games. That is something I would love to see, you know, Mario Sunshine. I would love to see that. If you go on Amazon and see just how much people are charging for a GameCube with Mario uh, Sunshine, it's ridiculous. Nintendo could get a lot of sales by putting this, you know, digitally. That would be fantastic. Uh, we're also probably going to get more information about the online paywall that they're they're going to start setting up, and you know that that's mainly the stuff that it, there's some hopeful stuff there. There's also a lot of realistic stuff there. The main thing that's I don't think it's so hopeful, but I would like for Nintendo to do this would you know be something that every consumer would be on board for. I'd like to see Nintendo address a lot of the issues that people are supposedly having with the Switch as far as the hardware goes. You know, like the the stand scratching the screen. Uh, people are saying that the screen's even getting bent and things like that. Like all this crazy stuff. If Nintendo were to come out and reassure people, you know, whether it's a, an update to the hardware or, or just explain why people are having the issues they're having how widespread the issues really are i'd love to get some transparency with this you know what i mean now obviously a lot of people have issues with consoles at launch anyway so this isn't really that big of a deal but it's something that it would definitely be a positive for nintendo to address this you know it, it can only help them but i think that pretty much covers everything i had to say about this let me know what you guys think about nintendo's e3 what your predictions are what you're hoping for, you know, not just what is realistic. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep it frosty.